Hello everybody. Welcome to a new video, Gain Speed Shop. At the moment busy at the SM24 project. It's over here, SM24. Full body coated, back to rebuilding it again with this M113. So if you're new to the channel, right corner of here is my logo, you can click on it, see the other videos of this project and all the other projects that I've done in other videos. So have a look and don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video in this channel, please put a thumbs up. So, um, oh yeah, and also don't forget to look on my website, jamespeedshop.com, it's over here. So, at this point I'm busy with the M113 because uh, I want to dismantle it, to rebuild it, and uh, I have more things to do on the chassis, but uh, I don't want to wait for parts, and uh, so, yeah, as short as possible, of course. So I want to dismantle it, see what I need, and then order it. So at the moment, I already removed the valve cover. As you can see, it's pretty dirty in here. Uh, carbon build up also on the inside of the valve covers. Um, I already have them soaking to get all the carbon out of it. Um, as you can see, I also have the alignment tools on it. So these are, you can just buy them, it's like a copy of the original ones that I have here on paper. This is the original numbers, I don't know if you can see them. But you, what you need to do is put the engine on 40 degrees, you cannot see the 40 but it's 20, 30, 40 over here. And there's a line in here, if you have it in there, these two plates should be, be flush with the top of here. You can see I don't have it. So it already, there is uh, two things a little bit strange about it. Uh, I've never seen this engine running, so I bought it like it is. Um, there is a difference between this side and this side. That already means that there is stretch in the chain. Um, if I put it on 35 degrees, this one is flush and this is not. So. Uh, this one is on 45 flush, so there's 10 degrees in between this bank and this, that bank. What is strange is that it's, that it's before 40 degrees is already on the timing fly frame. <coughs> so that could say that this chain is too short. That's weird. Uh, because that's not possible, of course. So how that is possible, I don't know. The uh, body engine it should be around 170,000 kilometers. Um, so we will see if we open it. So I got a tip from somebody that says there's a possibility that this ring shifts from the inner ring and then there's a crank angle difference. So I checked on 0T1, T that's cylinder 1, it's perfectly on, on top that sensor when I put it on 0. So that's not a problem. So I don't know. We will see but I'm going to change the chain and the tensioner and all the things. So. Uh, yeah, that will be okay. And then we will see what's with the timing and that sort of stuff. We will see. If it's still off, I can buy another pulley, have a look how that is looking with the marking. But yes, zero is zero. Zero of top dead center on one is top dead center. So I can check it when the heads are off and have a look. Uh, with the gouge on it, if it's where it's the shifting point is really the same as on here, then I know the pulley is also correct. So, um, what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to dismantle the complete valve train on here. Uh, there's a certain way to do it. You can see there's a lot of bolts in here. I think there are like, not 20 or something. So it's four, eight, 12, 16, so 20 on each side you need to remove and there is a certain order to do it. So I'm also going to do that. And this is this engine has a pretty special option. It has option code 479. That is cylinder deactivation. So you can deactivate four cylinders. Uh, the engine is controlling that of course, but there can be four uh, cylinders deactivated from the other eight. And then the valve stays staying close and that's running on four cylinders, so like a V4. So these two have it, so there's two and three and five and eight have the deactivation. So there's like a pin in here, I just read something about it, I'm going to make a separate video about it if it's interesting enough. 
this puts oil pressure in here and then pushes this pin out there's a spring on this side and then it, it is just staying close and then this is moving but it's not taking this valve with it so the valve strain stays closed and there will be an ignition cut and injection cut and then it runs on fast cylinders and when I thought when running 55 miles per hour it will save you 13% fuel so it is standard on all the M100 37 V12 engines so the S600 between 98 and 2001 before the bi turbo engine and on this engine it was an option on the 5 liter 4.3 I'm not sure but I thought all the W220 had it but that is not true so so what I'm going to do I'm going to remove the cylinder heads but first I have to lock of course the uh, the sprocket uh, so it will stay in place so I can look how later on when I remove the timing case I have to remove this bolt <coughs> uh, to make it loose and these this of course and then in a certain order I have to remove all the bolts to get the valve frame off I can do that later but the, valve, the engine is now on there it's easier to remove all the bolts so that is what I'm going to do now So, both bridges are off, camshafts are out, uh, it's a little bit dirty here, but for the rest it all looks pretty good, no big scratches or anything in here, also not on this side, it all looks pretty good, camshafts are looking pretty clean, they are dirty, but I mean there are no scratches in and or something else there look very good what is weird about this sequence of getting them off uh, this is the way how you should talk them but the strangest thing about this is you have an extra uh, mountings on here because this sole nut is on here you could never tighten these in first if you look in the description there's something is here. Removing camshaft, loosen the bolts in stages, reversing the sequence of tightening procedure. So this is the tightening procedure. Uh, so you do it, you do it in reverse, but it's not possible because not fully, because there is a bolt underneath here. That's number 13 on one side and number 14 on the other side. You can never reach it. So also you can never start with these two bolts so I think that's weird but yeah and there's also two times 13 in here it's also strange but most likely also with cylinder heads you tighten them from inside out so from the middle to the sides and you loosen them up from the outside to the inner side so what I did on the second one I removed first this one three bolts uh, they are also the outside ones you will remove so it's not that uh, 
much off of the original sequence so you remove these and then you start from the outside to the in inside it also is nice to mention what I could find is there are two descriptions I don't have them here that you should always renew these balls because they have like a certain amount of torque on them I like I think it's between 8 and 10 millimeters and then 90 degrees something like that uh, because this is special these bolts uh, are very expensive I think these two bolts will cost 26 euros a piece very strange why should they be so expensive so uh, yeah that's the way it is so just to remove these and uh, for example you want to change your lifters or your, or your hydraulic elements in here you can clean them or you want to change them or you want to do your valve uh, your uh, your seals, your valve seals, your, uh, your stem seals then you have to renew all those bolts so it's an extra 150 euros on bolts I think they cost like 2 euros a piece or something uh, so yeah I think it's strange that you put bolts in there that are uh, talk to yield are they called so my cancers were empty normally if you remove them oil can uh, drain out of them but mine uh, my engine is here in my garage for uh, like two years or even longer so no oil in there I'm also going to clean everything there's a complete sequence of how you should do this and you can also uh, clean the elements and I'm going to check if they are still holding uh, pressure uh, there are some more people that did something some uh, information on the internet I'm also going to do that it's just very good to see and check them all and it's very nice to see these, uh, this system. I did a read about it. I think it should even work on a turbo engine because the cylinders stay closed and the valves also stay closed. So you don't have an extra high vacuum or you don't have an extra high boost pressure because it's completely closed and the system will go in operation again if you go on a throttle. So I'm not think I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but I renew everything in here, check everything, so it's all good, and then we will see what I'm going to do with it. Uh, because it is very nice to have I think so the next thing is removing the cylinder heads so you can see I tightened the chain on here um, what is always nice to mention normally there are three or four markings on here like copper marking that should be with the L and the other one with the R that's somewhere over here uh, it's not on my because um, yeah I cannot find them because it's dirty <laughs> that's the whole thing so let's remove the cylinder heads so cylinder head very easy this is for the 6 cylinder this is for the V8 and they're working from the outside to the inside first you're going to loosen bolts A and B they are located in here and the two over there and then you start from the outside and work inwards so let's go So, cylinders are both off 
and um, I can only see four cylinders and they look pretty good to me there's not really any real wear in it you can see here there's a little bit marking looks like but there's not really scratching in there so it looks pretty clean only some carbon deposits on the top um, nothing really mostly on this bushings this is alley seal and most of the time if you got something shiny then it's not good for sure if you put light on it it's not really shiny so I bought this engine uh, and on paper it was having like 170,000 kilometers so that's like 105 to 110,000 miles so you can see when you look to the bushings it's not looking polished so it's all looking pretty good so what I'm now going to do is um, for the next video is removing the timing cover on the front uh, that's the next thing so then I have to turn over the engine because otherwise everything drops off so I have to make sure there's no oil in the sump so the sump will needs to be drained fully of course then the both pumps will be removed uh, that of the air conditioning pump will be removed uh, um, alternator filter housing I need to order it looks a little bit stupid but I need to order a 64 millimeter socket because you can then split this one in half this is a very famous o-ring that always starts to leak this is what I hear from a lot of people but I can leave it on here for now because I can dismantle it on the front completely so and for the rest um, then I can remove the timing cover and the chain um, pulley needs to come off and then I can turn over the engine and look in the bushings completely and see if also these are pretty clean and I think these are also looking very good so uh, cylinder heads both off you can see it's there's a lot of oil contamination on here so I'm going to clean everything so it will be dismantled completely all the sparks plugs are loose but they're still in there but I'm going to remove them of course if you can, this is the last head I removed and you can see it's not that bad it all looks pretty good it's just dirty but it's in good condition so that's very good also in here you can see all the camshafts the camshaft is seating and look all pretty good camshafts look pretty good it's just yeah it's a little bit dirty that's the only thing so I'm going to, so the next thing, yeah, next thing I'm going to di dismantle the bottom end and that will be for the next video so turn out the, the light out so hope you like this video about this subject so when I'm going to install it I'm also going to show it of course but for now I will make a picture of those documents and place them in the video on my website you can see them all so don't forget to subscribe to my page on the left is my logo you can click on it and see the main page and also have a look on my web shop jamespeedshop.com so i hope you like this video i think it's very interesting i'm very happy that the bores of this cylinder is what i can see now are looking pretty good not worn out of that sort of stuff so it's just a lot of carbon deposits but yeah this engine has an exhaust, exhaust gas recirculation and oil change for like what is it 15 to 20 thousand kilometers it could be done earlier as you can see so um that's it for now thanks for watching see you with the next video bye bye